This episode of Big Cat Rescue is brought to you by Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash Big Cat TV to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Uh, Kali's owner contacted us. Um, he started a facility in Georgia mm-hmm. several years ago rescuing a small number of animals. Mm-hmm. He was very similar to us in that he doesn't breed, buy, or sell animals. Mm-hmm. And that's what we define a true sanctuary as. Um, unfortunately, due to the economy, he could no longer afford to take care of the animals that he had. So he looked for places that were equal to or better than his standards for placement. For uh, over almost 20 years ago, I started Augusta Conservation Education as a nonprofit to educate the public about the plight of exotic animals in the private sector and also do animal, exotic animal rescues. Been in business over 20 years took in and, and rescued almost 300 animals in that time frame. Kali was my first big rescue. A man drove off and left two adult tigers, five leopards, four cougars, nine wolves, and two Syrian brown bears. Upon arrival, the tiger enclosure was totally covered in maggots. We dropped the gate, cleaned one side, dropped the gate, cleaned the other. The next morning when I arrived, Kali was being born. The other four at tigers were placed and facilities that don't promote breeding and we kept Kali as one of our animal ambassadors to educate people about what's going on with the exotic animals and canned hunts also talk about renew reuse refurbish then recycle due to the economy at this present moment um, I'm not I'm not able to take in the donations necessary to um, fund the feeding the vet bills and the insurance so in the best interest of the animal not my personal self, Uh, it is time for her to go to a rescue facility that doesn't promote breeding, that's going to take really good care of my cat. Bye sweetheart, bye baby girl, love you. I'm going to put some blocks on the way out there. Love you girl. Alright, so how are you guys feeling? Sweaty. Exhausted. Like what 94 degrees, it feels like 104. <laughs> it's humid. Um, we basically left work last night um, around 6 p.m., drove straight to Georgia, seven and a half hours. Yeah, so we arrived at the hotel at uh, two o'clock in the morning yep. and woke up, woke at, up at six. six yeah. So, our plan all along was to try to get to the property before the veterinarian got there. Um, just so that we could save them the trip if we were able to catch her in the transport without sedation. So lucky for us, she was friendly and hungry and she just loaded right up. Uh, So basically we're just trying to make some space, uh, moving Zeus down a little bit uh, so we can have this cage um, for Kali uh, in order to quarantine her for 30 days. we would quarantine them for 30 days in case they have any type of parasites or diseases that could be transmissible to other other animals. Um, so. um, when she got here, I think that she was a little, you know, rattled from the trip. She doesn't like the sound of the transport cage when it's moving. And that in combination with Zeus, the other tiger, right there in her face, um, she was a little probably taken aback because she hasn't seen the tiger in a while. Um, but I think over the next couple of days, they'll probably be good. She's already checking them out. Like, I see you. Little Keisha comes back to town. Mm-hmm. <laughs>